guys to the Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. So up front, let me apologize for the audio. It doesn't seem to be coming in clear. Uh, here soon, I'm going to be upgrading my equipment or some of my equipment. So I'm hoping that changes in the near future, both uh, upgrades in video and audio. So yeah, here's to waiting on that. Uh, I haven't had a video out in quite a while, longer than usual. And I wanted to just cover the Texas Pipe Show of 2021 that occurred today in November and and so let me just give you some background on that and what went on and uh, I want to encourage you up front that wherever you live uh, if you have something like that going on a pipe show I think that's mostly something being done in the United States I could be wrong but I'd encourage you to travel to one it's going to be worthwhile uh, so this is this one at the Texas pipe show was done this year at the uh Tobacco Cabana in Cedar Hill, Texas, around the DFW, Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, it was a great area, a uh, great site. I, I enjoyed the hospitality of, of the cigar pipe shop there. And so I'm, I'm grateful for them for, for hosting it. Uh, all the guys who put in the work on getting it together. Um, I know I had a lot to do with the uh, North Texas Pipe Club, the Austin, uh, the Waco, uh, the pipe clubs around Texas, they did a great job in putting all of it together. Let me go over some of the things I did, or I, I got. I didn't get a whole lot. I know some guys, they make the videos of all this stuff they bring back from these awesome pipe shows. Uh, I, I didn't get that much. Um, my, my allowance is tight, so uh, I did get something I'm really happy with and some other freebies uh, that were great so uh, let me start off with one uh, there is a, a texas artist uh, pipe artist uh, his name is paul battles with kilt and wood paul battles with kilt and wood and so this was a piece i picked up from him um, here you go here and it has this costello like sea rock uh, blast to it or, or rustication maybe i should say i might be getting my terminology there wrong but uh, one thing i loved about it is right here it has this white tail horn uh, band across it, and when I think of Texas, especially I think of white tail deer, and I'm a hunter myself, and so uh, I, I really love the size of the pipe. Um, I was able to not put it in my mouth, but be able to hold it up and feel the weight of it, and uh, the size perfect for me. I needed a replacement because I lost one. I, I mentioned uh, in a in a YouTube just post up recently that I lost one of mine lunting recently so this was my replacement and I am happy with it I'm grateful for it so check out Paul Battles I'm, I'm hoping I can have him on soon just to talk about how he got into the pipe uh, industry so this is what my big takeaway from the week or from the day so then there was the slow smoking competition and this was uh, hosted uh, well it was it was sponsored by a, a number of folks of course Missouri Mearsham hosted it not hosted sponsored it and they contributed the one of their corn cob pipes which is Texas pipe show 2021 um so hey solid corn cob pipe it's always nice to have another one around um, and then the S saddleback leather company this was like a big give here saddleback leather company gave a pipe pouch um, as you can see here uh, really nice. I mean, this was worth the entry fee for the smoking competition itself. Um, I was really grateful for it. So Saddleback Leather Company, awesome um, addition there. And then the thing I just dropped was by, let me get this right, Turbo10.com. Turbo10.com, uh, they made these specially engraved, laser engraved tampers, but you can always use another tamper. Um, so I was grateful to to have that and with turbo 10 giving this to the to those who were in in the slow smoke competition uh, one thing they had as a giveaway you could win some tins of tobacco and i was a winner um, and i picked up seattle pipe club's plum pudding special reserve flake so i have not had this looking forward to having this um I haven't been a big Seattle Pipe Club fan in the past, so maybe this will change my mind. So I'm looking forward to trying that and reviewing it for the channel. Um, met some great guys, part of the uh, part of the group or that, that participated, and some around Texas, uh, some that I haven't met before, and so that was part of the uh, great enjoyment of going to the Pipe Club show. 
one of the great guys I got to meet uh, was Texas Piper. Uh, un Texas TX underscore Piper. Uh, check out his channel, uh, Texas Piper. He was there, and I was, it was great to meet with him, catch up. Uh, we responded or corresponded via email and comments various times in the past. Uh, but it was great to meet with him and, and meet some of the other YTPC members uh, that I didn't know about or, or some of you who are listeners or viewers, I guess it would be better to say, who um, I, I didn't know or I wasn't aware of. And so meeting with you guys was, was great. Part of the experience of going to pipe shows is getting to have that camaraderie that a lot of us just don't have. We, we smoke by ourselves. We don't have a big group or we don't have anyone. And I enjoyed that part of it. So... Uh, again, great folks. There was a lot there, a lot of great pipes and pipe makers, uh, all sorts of things that uh, we look for uh, in, uh, that's not usually around us. So I'm grateful for it. If you have, again, if you have an opportunity to check one out yourself, do so. Guys, I'm, that's all I'm going to have for this evening. I'm going to have a week up of off, being off from work. I'm going to Mexico with family. I might be able to make a video then. Not real happy with my equipment, as I said, so that's up in the air. But uh, here soon, I'll get back into having some other videos come out with uh, reviews, things like that. So thank you for your patience. And let me know if you went to the pipe show. I'd love to know, and uh, hopefully we can correspond more in the future. So you guys have a great week, and we will talk to you soon.